Greetings from Advanced Grants, our YouTube channel for competitive exams. This is the fifth video in a series of videos on arithmetic. Let us see what is there in this video for you. In this video, we will learn and revise fractions. Fraction is a number representing part of a whole. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects, but the parts have to be equal. In first figure, there are six parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. One part of 6, it is written 1 upon 6. Second figure, there are four parts, 1, 2, 3, 4. One part of 4, it is written 1 upon 4. Third figure, there are three parts, 1, 2, 3. One part of 3, it is written 1 upon 3rd. Let us revise to confirm what we have understood. In the given picture, we see 9 equal squares. If we count the colored squares, we have 4 squares and the total squares are 9. We can write the fraction as 4 upon 9 or 4 nines of the squares are filled with color. The orange stars above are 2 upon 5 or 2 fifths fraction. Also, if there are 24 hours in a day, 3 hours will be 1 upon 8 from 3 upon 24 is equal to 1 upon 8. Improper and mixed fractions. The fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator are called improper fractions. For example, in 9 upon 4, 9 is greater than the denominator 4 is equal to 9 divided by 4 is equal to 2 and 1 upon 4 is equal to 2 whole 1 upon 4 as 2 times 4 is equal to 8 and 1 remains to be divided into 4 again when improper fractions are written as a whole and a fraction they become mixed fraction. For example, 2 whole 1 upon 4 as shown in the example above. Question is equal to remainder upon divider. But 9 upon 4 is an improper fraction because quotient and remainder are not there yet. 9 upon 4 improper fraction is equal to 2 whole 1 upon 4 is mixed fraction. A mixed fraction can be reversed as improper fraction as shown below. Whole multiply denominator plus numerator whole upon denominator is equal to improper fraction. Proper fraction. A proper fraction is a number representing part of a whole. In a proper fraction, the denominator shows the number of parts into which the whole is divided. And the numerator shows the number of parts of the total number of parts in which whole is divided. Therefore, in a proper fraction, the numerator is always less than the denominator. For example, in 1 upon 2, 1 is a numerator which is less than the denominator 2. Similarly, in 2 upon 3 and 4 upon 5. Equivalent fractions. 1 of the whole, 1 upon 2, 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6, etc. and the parts will be equal. For example, two parts 
or one make the equivalent fraction one upon two. Two parts of four make the equivalent fraction two upon four. Three parts of six make the equivalent fraction three upon six. Such fractions are called equivalent fractions. To find an equivalent fraction of a given fraction, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. For example, 1 upon 2 multiply by 2 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 4. Similarly, 1 upon 3 multiply by 3 upon 3 is equal to 3 upon 9 and so on. And if we divide the numerator and the denominator of the equivalent fraction by the same number of we get an equivalent fraction. For example, 2 is divided by 2 upon 4 divided by 2 is equal to 1 upon 2. Fraction in simplest form. A fraction is said to be in the simplest or lowest form if its numerator and denominator have no common factor except 1. For example, 2 upon 3 is a fraction in its simplest form as the common factor is only 1. 2 upon 3 multiply by 2 upon 2 is equal to 4 upon 6. Multiply by 3 upon 3 is equal to 12 upon 18. Multiply by 4 upon 4 is equal to 48 upon 72. Is multiplied by 5 upon 5 is equal to 240 upon 360. If we divide the rightmost fraction 240 upon 360 by 5 upon 5, we get 48 upon 72. And if we continue the reverse, we finally get 2 upon 3, both having 1 as the only common factor and which is simplest form of all the factors derived from 2 upon 3. The easiest way to find the equivalent fraction in its simplest form is by finding the HCF and dividing the numerator and denominator by the HCF. Let us learn about like fractions and unlike fractions. Like fractions. Fractions having the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5, 3 upon 5 and so on. Unlike fractions have different denominators. For example, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4 and so on. Here, 2, 3, 4 are denominators, different denominators. Comparing like fractions to find which fraction in a group of fractions is of greater value, we see the numerator, the greater the numerator, greater the value of the fraction. For example, among 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5, 3 upon 5, 4 upon 5, 5 upon 5, 6 upon 5, 7 upon 5, the value of 7 upon 5 is the greatest comparing unlike fractions provided the numerator is the same in two fractions the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater of the two for example 1 upon 5 1 upon 8 1 upon 5 has greater value the numerator being the same let us learn about comparing unlike fractions when both numerators and their denominators are different, we make the denominators of the given fraction equal by using the method of equivalent fractions. Therefore, we can change the denominator of a fraction without changing its value. For example, multiplying 5 upon 6 by 8 upon 8 and 7 upon 8 by 6 upon 6, we make both denominators equal. And hence the value of numerators gives 
the answer that is the greater the value of the numerator the greater is the value of the fraction so 5.6 becomes 40 upon 48 and 7 upon 8 becomes 42 upon 48 42 being greater than 40 fraction 7 upon 8 has greater value the LCM of the denominators of the fractions is the common denominator addition and subtraction of factor the sum of two or more like fractions can be obtained by adding the numerators and retaining the denominator which is same for the fractions for example fraction 1 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 3 being common denominator is retained and the numerators 1 and 2 are added and so we get 3 upon 3 as the answer the difference of two like fractions can be obtained by subtracting the smaller numerator from bigger numerator and retaining the denominator for example 2 upon 3 minus 1 upon 3 is equal to 2 minus 1 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 3 addition and subtraction of fractions when denominators are different to add or subtract fractions when denominators are different find equivalent fractions with the same denominator for example in fractions 1 upon 3 and 2 upon 5 to add or subtract convert to equivalent fractions LCM of 3 from 1 upon 3 and 5 from 2 upon 5 is equal to 50 1 upon 3 multiplied by 5 upon 5 is equal to 5 upon 50 2 upon 5 multiplied by 3 upon 3 is equal to 6 upon 15 adding the numerators we get 11 upon 15 subtracting numerator 5 from 6 is equal to 1 answer fraction is 1 upon 15 addition and subtraction of mixed fraction mixed fractions can be written either as whole part plus fraction part or entirely as an improper fraction we can add or subtract mixed fractions in two ways add or subtract the whole and fraction part separately and by creating improper fractions from mixed fractions and then adding or subtracting them addition and subtraction of mixed fractions whole part with fraction part for example 4 whole 3 upon 5 change mixed fraction into improper fraction for example 4 whole 3 upon 5 is equal to 23 upon 5 4 whole 3 upon 5 minus 3 whole 2 upon 4 is equal to 4 minus 3 and 3 upon 5 minus 2 upon 4 is equal to 1 and 2 upon 20 is equal to 1 whole 2 upon 20. This brings us to the end of the topic. Thank you for watching. The next topic will be uploaded soon. Till then keep revising and subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of uploads. Share and like our videos. Thank you.